Okay, so something that we're seeing in the market this time of year, people's houses look beautiful. If you guys get around and look oh, at some of these communities, um, it is just, you know, we got a great amount of moisture, the heat has been awesome, and stuff is in full bloom, which means that people want to show their properties off, they think their properties look great, so they're listing them. And yeah. the amount of inventory that's going up is, is going to be driving up, um, sorry, the amount of inventory that's coming on is going to be driving up the absorption rate um, as well. So sales mm -hmm. need to follow, but a lot of the buyers are going to be going on vacation here in the coming weeks. So um, you're going to need to educate your sellers to be a little bit more competitive. And also, U.S. supplies uh, with oil is keeping prices um, down around the mid-40s. So we should be watching that as well, but um, OPEC does seem... Uh, interested in bumping prices up so we'll see that follow but there's been a lot of great activity out there in yeah. fact we're still in a seller's market when it comes to uh, detached homes right now I may be very mistaken and this might be an irrelevant comment I heard something on the news about CIBC potentially being the first to raise an interest rate is that true am um, I thinking of the right thing I saw the only the only thing I've seen on that is a Huffington Post article which I feel like is I heard um, it on 660 News. Okay, there you go. So that's, I'm that's not better. saying that that's more relevant, and I, and I caught the tail end of it, but it was something CIBC, it was something Canada, and it was something interest rate. Well, I'll tell you, if, if that is true, and I saw something relevant to it as well, um, then if the rumors are going around that the rates are going to be raised, it's because people feel our economy is doing well. And that's actually great news. You guys can use it as a sense of urgency for your buying clients to get into the marketplace, yeah. but overall um, it means that over, people feel like uh, um, Canada is going to be doing okay as a whole. So, right. so that's it. So even though Alberta could still use a pick-me-up, um, you know, especially in, in, in central Alberta, um, we could definitely have um, you know, interest rates, as long as it's me medium, won't be too, too bad. So right. um, it's, it's a good sign of the times overall, but obviously it can affect it micro uh, segments of buyers. Right. Um, so that's it. So let's take a look at the hard data. Uh, for the price of oil, uh, we slid a little bit, uh, 44.75. There was a four-week straight loss there. Um, the Canadian dollar, though, has risen a little bit to um, 75.68 cents U.S. Awesome. Uh, looking at the number of listings, Metro Canada, uh, Metro Calgary up, uh, like Lindsay was mentioning, 6,671 versus 6,621 6, last week. Red Deer also up. Um, we are currently, oh, down nine. Are we down nine? Down, down nine. Down nine. So, sorry. So, we are down nine at 706 versus 715. Uh, as for the Calgary months of inventory, sorry, <laughs> getting back into the swing of things here, we're sitting at 3.2 months of inventory, which is up slightly. Again, these numbers haven't risen a ton. They're just inching up a little bit. Single family homes still sitting in that balanced market territory up to uh, 2.37 months. And condos, uh, sorry, yeah, single family homes sitting in a seller's market territory. Total is a balanced market. And condos sitting in a buyer's market still. I don't expect that to change for, you know, oh gosh, honestly, probably a couple of years um, with the amount of inventory. We got more coming online. Um, sitting at 5.17 months. Um, I just want to make a comment. I was taking a look at the East Village uh, the other day. We were driving around, and gosh, yeah. is it getting beautiful? I um, know. There's a it's lot amazing. of incredible stuff down there. Yeah. So, you know, I just want to say kudos to the city of Calgary and the city planners. Um, that's been a complete re revitalization. Well, and you know, another thing mentioning, and this is more of the market thing, but I don't know if you were listening to the news this morning. But part of city planning um, that's taking place today is looking at kind of a revitalization of downtown. And obviously vacant r vacancy rates are quite high. But one of the things that they're going to look at doing and are always doing is really increasing residential space downtown. Yes. And hopefully turning some of those vacancies into residential areas. And one really great idea, and it's so true because you go to places like Toronto or even Vancouver where you see these downtown campuses, so an, ex um, an extension of you know, the University of Calgary. We have a little campus down there, but not much. But when schools need to expand, and the U of C does with new buildings, taking an adjacent office tower and turning that into residencies, and then putting like the medical campus downtown beside it, and then suddenly you have this influx of you know thousands of students living downtown who need to shop, who need to eat, who need to whatever. Um, but the idea is they're trying to make condos cool downtown. 
Yeah, you it's, need it's, to have, it's years and years from now, but I think that they have a big focus on it. Yeah, to revitalize downtown and to get the nightlife happening, you need to have mixed use. You need to have people living down there, not just on the outskirts, but in the actual core. Well, and students is great, because you, if, you, if you put a, a great campus down there, you know that you're always going to have the people. So hopefully that works out. Cool. But Surround, surra surrounding areas. Yeah, so surrounding areas, months of inventory. Okotoks, 3.21. Airdrie, 3.69. Cochrane 5.17, Strathmore 6.57, Sundry 11.43, Red Deer 4.80, and our benchmark price is at $443,800. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. And that is what's happening in the marketplace this week. That is what's happening in the market.